Whether you come alive on your PS5 or make it happen on your battle station, nothing is more infuriating in a gaming session than lag. Slow internet is worse than no internet. So in this video, I'll be going over my picks for the best internet service provider for gaming. First, I'll be breaking down the key areas that you need to think about and then my picks for the best internet providers. Now, contrary to what most people would think, you don't need a gig of internet to game. The FCC quotes a poultry minimum of just three to four megabits, but I recommend you get something much faster. I find the sweet spot to be around 75 megabits and why? Well, because you might want to listen to Spotify or watch a YouTube video while gaming and maybe even like and subscribe to a channel. And you'll probably be sharing the internet with others in your household and you don't want to hit lag spikes while your family watches Netflix and scrolls through TikTok. Even 30 to 40 megabits will be okay in most situations, but 75 megabits gives enough headroom to allow everyone to still have their favorite shows to watch while you dominate in Overwatch. Now, your upload speed will only matter if you intend to stream on Twitch or want to upload YouTube videos. Then it becomes very important and often overlooked. The aim is for at least 10 megabits for upload. Twitch recommends three to six, but I would go above and beyond if possible to give the clearest clarity and stable streams. And for YouTube, the slower your upload speed, the slower it is for you to upload your video to YouTube. And it can be very, very slow. But if this is not your area, then Good news, you don't need to worry, but if you are thinking of maybe getting into video creation and sharing your skills on Twitch, then keep this 10 megabits in the back of your mind. Latency lag ping. This is how long it takes for your console or computer to send and receive data from the game server. And lag is one of the most powerful pain points when it comes to gaming. This is why sometimes it feels like someone shot you in CSGO before they even turn the corner. It's you mashing the button to shoot in FIFA, but then a defender has come and tackled you. Now, latency, unfortunately, isn't something we can control and is in the hands of the ISP. However, we can get an average based on the internet connection type. For satellite, it's 594 to 624. DSL is 11 to 40, cable 15 to 27, and fiber all the way down at 10 to 17. But these are just averages and you'll need to go into a speed checker to check your latency. For gaming, lower is better. Around 50 milliseconds or lower is the goal. And I'll be sharing later on a few tricks that you can use to ensure that you have the best latency possible. You need to aim for at least one terabyte of data for downloads. You can expect to use between 40 to 300 megabits per hour for most games. So 10 gigabytes should last around 33 hours. It's hard to give exact figures as it all depends on the game and a host of different factors. Fortnite, for example, should get you around 400 hours with 40 gigabytes. Either way, you should be settled to game to your heart's content with one terabyte as it'll give you enough headroom for you and others in your household. But be warned, with everything being digital, downloading games and those huge updates can really eat into your data cap. So unlimited data is ideal, though watch out for ISPs. A lot of them will cap unlimited data after a certain amount to a god awful speed, making anything but sending emails unusable after this cap. you need to optimize your setup. There's no point of one gig download if you're only going to see a fraction of that while gaming. Firstly, use an ethernet cable. Wherever possible, you always want to be jacked into the internet. Wi-Fi is great and honestly getting better, but a wired connection will deliver the best speeds and lowest latency. And if you have to use Wi-Fi, then use it right. Get your router as close to your gaming station as possible. Try to avoid walls, furniture, and anything else from blocking the signal. Household appliances like mobile chargers, microwaves, and wireless speakers have been known to cause interference. So try to reduce this as much as possible. And if you're still seeing lag, then you can try to change the angle of your console to see if that helps. You also need to update your router and modem's firmware. Now I know you usually install the router and modem and just never touch or think about it again but ensuring that both have the latest firmware, you can ensure you have the peak performance flowing through. Also, you want to play on a local server. Now, in most online games, they offer you the ability to pick where you want to connect. 
Some will optimize for the closest and fastest, but if you have the chance to pick, ensure that you pick the closest to you. Games will often pick several servers to ensure that you aren't waiting in the lobby too long. So you might have to wait a bit longer for a game to start, but you have a much better time in that game. Finally, you want to prioritize your gaming rig on your router using quality of service and network prioritization options on your router. Now, not all routers have this feature, especially some of the routers that's bundled with your ISP. However, if you purchase your own router or you're thinking of buying one, ensure it has these features. This allows you to prioritize your gaming device over other devices on the network. Now for my actual picks, my number one pick overall will be Verizon Vios. This is my overall sweet spot. It's fiber, which should give you the best latency and being fiber, you usually get some of the best speeds. While there are four plans to choose, my favorite from the bunch is the one gig. Though I'm a gluttony for data. However, the 300, 300 offering both 300 megabits down and up is a great option and should have you blasting through your gaming systems. Now it has great downloads, great uploads, great latency and unlimited data. However, it does have some drawbacks, costs and availability. Fiber generally costs more and it's not as widely available. So you need to check in your area and you might even be lucky as some areas often find deals available. So following on from that, my pick for availability and cable speed, I guess, is Xfinity. It has good average latency, can go really fast and has excellent coverage across the US. And also being cable, it's often cheaper across the board than some of the fiber options. Now you are giving up some of that download speed and a lot of upload speed. Even the top plan only goes up to 35 megabits. Also Xfinity has a data cap. It's 1.2 terabytes, which is sufficient for most users. You can get fully unlimited for an extra $30 a month, which is quite steep in my opinion. Now, my personal favorite from Xfinity is the super fast plan. It's plenty fast enough and doubles the upload speed from the plan below it. My third and final pick, which I feel combines a bit of everything would be AT&T Fiverr. It's more widely available, though check in your area first. It has good average latency, great speed, unlimited data, and comes in at a great price. It's more widely available than Verizon's offering, but still a far cry from having the US covered. If it is available in your area, don't honestly, I like all the options. I'll go with AT&T Internet 1000 because it has the most data and sounds really cool internet 1000 so that's it from this video i hope you like some of the options i gave if you have it in your own please leave it in the comments and if you're thinking about going one you know let me know in the comments like subscribe all that jazz internet 1000 finally you want to prioritize 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 where's it finally you want to prioritize 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 Finally, you want to prioritize, prioritize, prioritize. Finally, you want to prioritize. Okay. Finally, you want to prioritize your gaming rig. <clears throat> three, three, two, two, one, one. <clears throat> Sexy. Anyway, let's start. <clears throat> So whether you come alive on your PS5 or you make it happen on your battle station, nothing, God damn it. All right, let's start again. Had a text, three, two, one.